so long that everybody skips by the video. I'm Sam I.B., curator of The Correct Views, obviously not always doing politics. I look like a meatball because I'm wearing 70 layers of clothing. But I wanted to say real quick to everyone, we've got some amazing exploring to do. We've heard different ghost stories, different spooky things. I will say I learned that Helltown got its name, and I don't know why they did this, but in German, the word for clear is hell. Maybe it meant clear water, whatever. Why they picked the German word, I don't know. Perhaps it was heavy with German settlers. I don't know. I don't like to overstudy it before I go, because then it ruins it. For those that don't know, I do believe there is another side, but I've never seen anything that I've got on camera, never had anything, so I'm the perfect person to bring, because I'm not overly dramatic, but I do believe. Guys, we've just arrived here. My mask for the cold, not for COVID the colded. Uh, we are here at Helltown. This is a uh, creeper. Trish. You guys want names or I don't know. I don't know what their names on camera. So I, I'll wait and see. we'll get to that later. Um, we are going to check out the old church here in Helltown. What you are seeing is actually on my chest. I have a chest mount and I'm going to walk just a little bit so you guys can get an idea for what it looks like. And we're going to walk that way. Let's start roaming. I'm sh going to shut this off. I'm not going to film our walk to the church for very long because I don't imagine that's very much fun to watch. You know, we'll drain your battery. But, and we're we'll the battery. But we will. All right. We are approaching the church. The rest of the group is a few steps ahead of me. What time is it? One sixteen a.m. Have a good look, friends. I'm not going to do this all video, but I do want to mention that the uh, cool little device around my neck here is purchased by your kind donations at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. I'm gonna get the front of these doors real quick. I'll be right over. Don't forget me. Here we are, friends. Guys are seeing it like I am. Oh, we don't know. That's not going to happen. So I'm going to film a bit more of this. It is. Let me see that flashlight creeper. I'm going to film around this real quick and then we'll get to the fields or whatever. Ah, thank you. Yeah. You want to, you want to go around it with me or you just want to give me the camera? It's up. Oh, there's a stairs up over there. There's, let's, let's, let's film it. Let's film the whole place. Uh, like I said, keep an eye on my chest cam. Make sure it's filming it well. Here, let me stand by you. I need the light. That's what I mean. There is. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Perfect. This is the old church here in Helltown. Trish, what? I'm gonna. Trish, walk beside me in the light. What is the story? We well, could do it that way too. What is the story of the church that we are looking at here? Okay, this is one of the two churches that were, and this one obviously still is here. Um, supposedly. This one was not um, originally a satanic worship, but because of the times and things that were um, architecturally correct, I guess is the best way to say it, 
Um, it did look like there was an upside down cross on the front of the building above the stairs or yeah. above the entranceway. Um, but they have hence removed it probably because of all the controversy about it. But now, do you know if this was the way that the church operated, or was this something that was done after it was no longer a regular church and people sort of squatted it? Um, I think it's probably likely that somebody got up there and just stole it because of the story behind it. Um, no, I mean, was it ever sanctioned as a satanic church? No, no. You can definitely see that somebody has been in the, the, the camera's going to jiggle for a moment. The camera's actually going to get to see something a little bit different than I can see. I won't even see this till later because I have to reach up, but... Okay, let me hold the light for you. This is, I can't, we're not going in, but that's uh, what we can legally see by looking in the windows. Thank you. You're going to jiggle again while I put you back on. None of the audio or video is ever enhanced on these for those watching because it ruins anybody who wishes to use technologies to enhance it later. I had to readjust the, the every fittings. So as you were saying, Trish, was this ever sanctioned as a satanic church or is this something that seems to have been done after the, uh, after the church was closed? Uh, no, it wasn't sanctioned as a satanic church. I think it's just something that was passed down from, you know, people talking. I mean, rumors spread very easy. I haven't found anything in research that could be factual that says that this is a satanic church. All right, friends, we're going to go back around to give you the other side, and then we're going to move on to the trail. We are here in Helltown. As you can see, not all of it is abandoned. It certainly is not. There's still a trailer and whatnot here. It's very active. Whatever is still in the building. Well, I think they're trying to so uh, here is, this is the church, the old church. Since it does look like it's being used, we're not going to spend a lot of time here. We are going to the trail. I don't know that they're still being used, so we'll see where that leads to. You are listening to the exploration, the trip to Helltown. All right, so we've reached the trails, and uh, it's, it's, this place is not as abandoned as they said it was. Obviously, let me take this out. That's not the case. Um, but we're trying to figure out which of these we want to take. I think it's the Boston Trailhead. The Boston yeah, Trailhead. Yeah. That's the one we think is that's, haunted. I'm, so we're going to I'm go on about. that one. That's and what time is it? Right here. It is 1.32. 1.32. We've already explored the church. So now, as you can see by the road sign, we're headed for the Boston Trailhead. 1.40 a.m. Now, we have reached, as you can see area of rocks by a stream. Now, it's not particularly terrifying, considering that, like I said, city workers will probably check this area twice a year. But uh, what do you think this is, Trish? I think it looks like um, like a water drain. There used to be a lock system. Well, there probably still is. Um, and, like, you know how they have to raise the boats to get to elevated places? They push water in and they have to take water out. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this drains into like a reservoir. Like it, this is where they would pull the water out and it would drain into a reservoir. It may be that. Now friends, you know a, a Creeper and anybody else who wants to do it, you okay, we, you know what we're going to do, right Creeper? We're going to probably get wet again. We're going to, should we explore the rock? I think everybody's already explored the rocks though. Yeah. It doesn't look as fun as... No, I'm thinking about going up there, but it doesn't really do anything. I thought it went deeper than that. All right, so this is, again, Helltown. You're seeing it as we see it. Uh, that does not go as deep as I thought it did. So I'm not going to explore as we normally do because it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. So far, Helltown is not as desolate as we expected. But if anything changes, we will let you know. Yes, we are still at the entrance here at the trip to Helltown. Redneck and Blondie also with us here on the trip. All right, so we've reached another point in our journey. 
there is let me get that better for you there you go it's empty they're uh redoing it History, Bag Industry Town. Was this the press? They Photo made period. toy marbles and then paper. The photo below shows what it looked like before. Paper bag. It survived the Great Flood. This is that mom and pa shop yeah, that I was telling you about. It. That's still here. Hey, you're our friends. As a look, as it is being restored here in Hell Town, Ohio, you can see inside the restorations which are being done. So, a lot of this. I imagine was probably in a, quite a decrepit state prior to what all of you are getting to enjoy now. Thankfully, history is being restored, but this this is what it looked like. Car careful on the volume because of the people that live to the left and to the right. Creeper, don't know, that might be owned. No, this is the path. This oh, this is the path. path. Okay, yeah. good. So, yeah. This is cool. I didn't want to try. No. No, because it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> at least he's smart to look for locked. Look at this, friends. A little bit of history here. All right, so. That is a long trail. Here we are, friends. Take a look at this. I'm gonna be right where you are just for a second. Oh, you're all right. Now this is uh, what are what are with the uh, locks that they're talking about here, Trish? It's um, <coughs> because they use this to transport um, like little tiny boats with, I would assume, goods of some sort, and because it's a different elevation from the beginning to the end, they put locks in, and the, they basically put the boat into the lock. They close doors behind it, and they can take water out of it, out of the central area. That way, it lowers the elevation. And in other locks, they put water in, and that raises it. There we are, friends. Once again, another look at the historic barn. Before we move on, absolutely awesome looking. Now this this here has uh, the the age on this. Does it say the age of this barn? Very very old friends. Very old indeed. You're watching it, the trip to Hell Town. We're doing it at night. If there's any ghosts to be seen, now we are here to see them. Get ready to turn the corner and step back into an entirely another time. I mean, an entirely different time, friends. Look at this, friends. Oh, this is a museum, isn't it? Now it is. Well, yeah, now. I would assume so. That's pretty cool. Look at that, friends. Holy shit. Been dusted recently. Yeah. Oh, that's not these full before and after delivery. That's pretty cool. Twenty six cents a gallon. They they left it at the same time. Twenty six cents a gallon. This one's 29 cents a gallon. Look at that, friends. Down. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Seeing it, friends, here in Helltown, is exactly what it looked like. They've redone all these houses here to look exactly as they did back in that time, which is important because there's black and white video. And of course, you can colorize those, but they don't actually look like it did at that time. These have been restored. They still work. Yes, we're not gonna we're not gonna try it. I don't think, but because oh, it moves still. 
Oh, this does still, don't, don't break it, but yes. Aha, see that, friends? That's how it was done back in the day. I see, I never knew that before. Oh, that's how you took air out. Easy with it. And there is, friends, diesel. This is saying diesel was 38 cents a gallon at that time. And like over here, did our friends get abducted? No, they're right there. All right, real quick, friends. Now, this is supposed, this is a legendary place here. So I don't just want to skip by it, but I do want to move on as we, because we have a long walk ahead of us, friends. But this here, make sure I'm getting it all. Look at that. Very, very, very old store. conservation see so I don't want to get too close I'm gonna to wonder what we're doing here but uh, this is all again all restored to look exactly like it did a very very long time ago friends we're out here the trip to hell town all right friends bit of a letdown here I'm guessing it's right before two o'clock the cemetery is closed now most people would say what well, just climb a fence the trouble is it's a residential neighborhood and it, i'm sure there's 50 cameras that were already on just by walking yeah. through here so the idea of just hopping the fence isn't really an option but we <laughs> are here at the spooky cemetery and now uh, here we are so you at least get a chance to see it guys I could tell you the one myth about the cemetery. Yes, please do. Um, there's a myth that there's a person that sits on a park bench in the cemetery. Hold on one second, guys. The camera is going to jiggle. Uh, All right, go ahead. And um, a lot of people have really talked about it, but when they come here and they actually go up to the cemetery and can get up there, there actually isn't a park bench that anybody can sit at. So... It kind of squashes itself. That's pretty much the only thing. Interesting. So there you are a lot of like really old, like 1800s. All right. Well, due to its location, friends, we may have gone as far in this direction as we can. Again, that's actively somebody's house, so we yeah. can't even take a few feet to the left. They set this up ingeniously to prevent anybody from. Getting to uh, getting to feel like a, a leapfrog, so to speak, can't happen. All right, guys, <clears throat> trip to Helltown so far. Don't die. It's been hellish. <laughs> Here's a bit of coolness for everyone to enjoy. We are in Helltown. Tripping over branches in Helltown. now probably wondering why am I filming this boat well this used to be a bustling boat village I will zoom in here right now so that you guys can hit pause to see these you are here I will stop again and again. Let me do a better job of that. And last but not least, about to take the trail in Helltown. All right, as promised, we have arrived at the lock. I'll start up here. This is where they would move the ships to let them in. 
And we are going down, friends. <clears throat> down, down, down here in Helltown. The lock that Trish told us earlier about is being seen, as is my imminent death as I fall down the hill. Both of which are quite entertaining for reasons that are different. So equally bizarre. Blondie has not joined us down here in the pit. She's like, you guys go right ahead. Hey, Creeper, you can't even tell that that's a snake den. No, you can't. <laughs> How's the video look, Creeper? Good. Just making sure that you can see. Keep a look, keep an eye on it every once in a while because I'm filming all of this. Again, this is where the ships, this is where they would pull in. It's turning into a river, guys. Yeah, it's turning, quickly turning into a river. Don't go too far. That's water. Bro, oh, how solid is it? Okay, good. It's solid. We're walking on solid ice now, ladies and gentlemen. Many people die this way. Now, they didn't have uh, deep water harbors back in the day. Or if they did, this was the beginning of it. Literally frozen to the ground, friends. Yeah. We are walking on water, absolute water, ice. Now we're gonna walk away from each other so that there's not so much weight in any one spot. Yeah, it's cracking right here, so. Okay, I'm going this way. It'll be shallow, it'll just suck for a minute. We're not too far away from the water, so... Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's cracking. <laughs> Are you cracking, babe? Oh, a little bit I'm cracking. I'm not terrible cracking. Creeper's moonwalking on it. That's, that's beautiful. Creeper is skating on the ice. There you go, friends. Yes. Trish, there you go. Know. Trish falling into the ice. Right. Oh, no, wait, no, let, me, let me get away from you. We're trying not to walk together, friends, because the weight of two people in the same spot will decimate the ice. I am going to take myself bravely into the middle of this little ice pond. Whee! All right, Creeper, give me a good ballet lesson. Here we go. <laughs> Let's not stand together, that'll break it. Whee! <laughs> All right, back up to relative safety we go. Not only did we take you through the lock, friends, took you skating through the lock. Continuing the trail in the trip to Hell Town. Up the hill, he'll, fi he'll film them, there we go. We had to climb the hill of death. Sorry. We've climbed the hill of death. Here we are now, we, we decided, the signs of renovation are recent. Like if you look here, that these cinder blocks they don't even have dirt on them. So this is very recent that someone's been up here. Probably. Probably. That's, that's recently been painted. But uh, this is here at least a look at it for those who wish to see it. Oh, should we take this out of here? There you go. The old old buildings that have been restored here in Halltown. We climbed the hill of death to get up here and uh, so far no ghosts.
Remains to be seen if we'll find any ghosts. 231, Trish, what do you have and what are you seeing? Okay, so this Wh Whatever is, this camera this sees is, is what it's seeing. This is so, an app. Watch um, this when you're doing it. This this scans um, electromagnetic. electromagnetic fields and also different frequencies. So it has, it has a voice box in it that can manipulate things and a word will come through. Um, when we were walking down, we kind of felt a presence while we were walking around the cemetery. So I decided to turn it on and we started getting responses and a word came through pencil, which is funny because I only have one pencil and the rest are pens. And, um, the next word that came through is, was monitor. I just heard something. I heard another voice. Well, the cemetery is to our left. And the beeping, something's walking closer. Ask it if we should go to the cemetery. Should we go to the cemetery? Oh, yeah. Stop beeping. You can see like when the longer lines here. Make sure you show it to the camera too. Uh, I don't know if it is coming through. The longer lines at the bottom show when it's closer and farther away. And this is the different electromagnetic fields. Touching it isn't going to change anything. It is monitoring. It's monitoring everything around it. All so right, it was fine. just very interesting that, you know, these sequential things would happen. Because while we were up at the cemetery, I thought I saw something move. And then a motion sensor light came on. No, we don't know if that was done by the we, wind or else, but we are going to venture but it in. it is a strange coincidence that these things are like boom, boom, boom. We are going to venture over here near the cemetery, friends. We'll turn it back on. We may remain in this spot for a bit longer. If anything else comes up on this, did, we will definitely let you know. What did you guys see over there? I didn't see anything. <laughs> All right, friends. We are here. We are in the cemetery here in Helltown. Creeper's doing a, running a program looking for words. I'm gonna step away from him because of the sounds. Here, I don't wanna pick that up for a minute. Here we are. We are in the cemetery. It's about three o'clock in the morning. We are here in the cemetery. Very old, old place. Some of these are a couple hundred years old. Oh, very old. All right, friends. Don't spend so much time with that that you forget to enjoy it. I never had a lot of faith in those. All right, friends. I don't want to <clears throat> talk. That was that was broken as we approached it. We did not do it. Creeper. Stay away from that one just because it's broken. I already filmed that it. it was broken before we were there. Don't go near it. That's all right. We've got a charger. But hey, let's let's put that away if you want to until we're done. No, let's she take. Said the only way to open is with a fingerprint. Where did that other dude go? I don't know. Sorry. That is kind of creepy. All right, friends. Uh, all right, stay this way. House, 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 house. This way. All right, friends. We are here in the cemetery. I don't want to put the light on because there's houses directly on the other side, but I can put it on for a moment. Look. Look at the age. 1854. 1854. Very, very old. That one you can't even see the, the name on it any longer. 
All right, creeper. I think our time is here. We have filmed in the middle of the night. The cemetery. It is kind of weird that we've lost Redneck. I'm going down an extremely steep hill right now. The shadow behind me is Creeper. Unlike some of the people in the group, I'm not picking up any particular feelings. How much of that is caused by the setting? How much of it is induced by that? And how much of it simply is something unexplained? Hard to say. Um, you're seeing what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing that I have to Shut the camera off to get out of here real quick. The guys have been taken to the cemetery on the trip to Helltown. All right, friends, I don't have a lot of faith in these, but I do want to mention this real quick. Look at this. Put it, make sure it's in the camera. You can see what it's filming. Headstone came up. Now it's had script, brook, and then, yeah. Now it's had script, brook, Relax, headstone. Shut that off and let's relax by a headstone. Who's the broken the headstone? headstone. Oh, shut it off. Let's go and sit by the broken headstone. I'm going to leave the camera on. This camera Where's on. the other ones? Huh? Where's the other ones? We'll find them. We have cell phones. Huh? Dude, we got a message like that. We have to follow it. Okay, friends. The only headstone that really stood out was a, I filmed the one from 1854. And I filmed the one from the broken one. Now, I'm leaving this on in case this is viewed later. As you could see, when we first walked up here, that headstone was broken. I kept us away from it so nobody could say that we damaged it. But now I want to... I do want to see what happens when we go by one of these headstones. So, I don't know. Uh, redneck. Where are they at? I don't know, but we can call them. Come on, we can't pass this up. We have a message. Well, we guess it's a message. I don't. It could have been we were by a brook, dude. We were by a brook, a stream. That's what a brook. I'm falling up the hill. Do you wonder why this looks bad? I'm on my hands and knees. All right, shh. All right. Stay quiet because of the houses. All right, they were couple of headstones it seems it said relax so we are going to relax by these headstones I don't know for how long but we're gonna relax and just listen now the one I said 1854 it was a tall white one so here we are wait is this it no, it's further back. Look for anybody whose name is Brooke. Um, I don't want to overuse the... This isn't it. I don't want to overuse the light. Or All right, here's the broken one. Now, what's the name on the broken one? Let me... All right, guys, continuation. I'm holding the camera now. What's the name on this? Family. Where's Brooke? That's okay. Hold on. Let's relax. Like it's turned light off. Here's. Let's relax here, like it said to. That could mean listen. Try not to make any noise <clears throat> for a minute.
All right, now we're gonna see if we can move to that really old headstone that we saw. Which headstone? It's hard to say. That wasn't Stanley, that was Stanford. These are all Stanford. Um, oh, I can't find, that's probably Trish. Where was that really old headstone? I said it was 1854. Because here it is. What's this one's name? I can't tell. All right, kill that light. Let's see. Let's rest here as it relax, as it said. After we do this, a creeper and I are going to go back to the other headstone and try the speaker box again or whatever that program okay. is. She said it's only we want to lock with her fingerprint. Okay. That's fine. We won't be able to hear it. Let's just listen for a moment then. Let's see, is there a brook on the other side of this? Let's check. Watch your lights. If there's a brook, you will try to stay by it. Over there, those distant lights are the ski resort. So. The way I snowboard, it's a miracle I'm not here. That's not a brook, it's a trail. All right, so. All right, we did, we did what we think it told us to do, friends. I don't know what else there is to do. It's a Christian. Can't really make out what it says. I might be able to when I get home. Huh? All right. Let's go then. All right, friends. We, uh. We've done the best we can. Once again, the words that came up on the scanner were brook, relax, headstone, and what was the other one? Script. Script. Now, earlier we got pencil, and script could be another reference to that. So it will be interesting to get back and let Trish know that as well. Um, so far, friends, you've seen what we've seen. Still no hardcore proof of anything, but we are doing our best. And if we see anything, you will see the unedited footage as we do, such as falling down this. It's going to be great. I'm going to film him falling as I fall to my death. This is what we do to bring you the show. So if you enjoy it, the correct views at hotmail.com. The correct views at hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. This is your trip to hell down. All right, friends. In front of us, here in hell town, that'd be the Stanford house. restored obviously now was there any ghost stories with this tell me in a minute I'll get closer all right guys here is Stanford house Alright friends, we are here. I didn't want to get rid of that last shot, so I did keep it. I'm going to shoot over her Can shoulder. No, I'm good. What have you found here? Okay, so this is the Stanford house. This is where we're at. And there's a lot of stories about this man here. She's breathing heavy, friends. We just walked James up a Stanford. hill. And 
he basically, this is where he lived. This was his house. He has his barn over here, which is this barn that's right behind us. And then there's also, also a butcher's barn. And it's like, I feel it's like over here. All right. But it's somewhere past this barn that's behind okay. us. Well, uh, here, the place is very well lit still. There's a light out in the basement. There's electricity here. So like the other parts of this, friends, it has yeah. been restored. But uh, I'm going to get us some good shots of it once I get stationary. Go, oh, friends. I'm going to go ahead and venture by ourselves. I see, I wish they would have gone with an authentic picnic table from the period instead of what they've chosen. The traditionalist in me. The rest of it, though, they've done truly a remarkable job with the restoration of this place. Clearly. Go up the steps. Let's look inside. The mummy image is a sticker on my phone. For those who may notice the reflection in the mirror, you did not just see a mummy. Although if we turn the corner and do see a mummy, that would be kind of cool, I have to say. Central air. That's not original. So obviously they are restoring For more than just the way it looks, they are going to use this, are using it. Much of this, as you can see, is quite new. Now, here is uh, more of the historic site. There's a house in the woods? Turn your light off. Hold on, let me get this filmed first. Alright friends, uh, we're gonna... If there's a house in the woods, you know we're gonna check that out. I wanna get everything... Sorry. Let me get everything historical, I'll come back to that. We think we see a... Well, we do see a house in the woods. So we're probably gonna figure out who's going and who isn't. Um, I wanna film the barn. There's a house in the woods, which we're probably gonna take a look at. I'm going to go get this barn while you guys, while you can get out. You haven't been to the barn, have you? Yeah. Uh, there's a house. We'll look. We're scoping it out. Yeah, not, that, that's his uh, screen name. Yeah, I'm filming. Here is the old barn. <clears throat> Yeah. Snow starting to fall here in Helltown. Oh, this is a trash can. Trash. We have found a trash can. Hike smart. You mean in the middle of the night in freezing temperatures? I don't think that's what they meant, friends. I just don't. All right. So, here's the barn. It's a look inside the old barn. As best I can give to you, anyway. It's a barn. <laughs>
very, very old. I mean, other than that, there's not a lot to see here. It is, after all, just a barn. So what we're going to do is kill the camera here after a moment. We're going to go see what that house in the woods is all about. There's a house in the woods, Creeper. Would you and I go into the middle of nowhere and explore a house in the woods? Yeah. Yes, we most certainly would. Um, again, we're in the historic district here. It may be a deer hunt. It could be anything, but uh, this, is, this is not the house. But we are looking at it here. This is in the process, I think, of being restored. Well, they're trying to just keep it as authentic as they can. Well, they're trying to, like, just keep it safe. And this... Oh, this is where they keep the... Obviously, duh. No, this is a firewood hut. Um, all right. I'm going to shut the camera off, friends. We're going to see what's up with this house in the woods. We are out here in Helltown. There's a whole nother trail back here as well, guys. So where does it go? Nowhere? She knows. She's got the whole thing mapped out. I'm going to go check this house all right. out. Definitely. All right, let's go. Guys, we are here. Has Trish spooked herself? Or is there something to be spooked about? We don't know, but two members of our crew, Blondie and Trish, did not want to come to the Blair Witch House, as it were. Creeper, Redneck, and I have, oh, of course, I mean, it's on the main trail. It's on the main trail. Old. Now imagine, friends, somebody used to live in this house. They probably uh, didn't have a lot of money back in the days. May have been a coal miner or in the bagging industry, which was popular there. Uh, you could tell the asbestos or whatever it is, which was here, any insulation. It may have been deer back then. Yeah, so there has been, it had lights at one time. What's it say? Why do we always find penises and eat leave my ass on our die. Leave or die. Satan. Satan. Gotta have Satan. Oh, there's a weekend Satanist all over. I'm surprised we haven't found any dick pics yet. Oh, wait, no. There's definitely something going on here. Pentagram. What does it say? Axe Satan? Me, Axe Satan. Axe Satan. Axe Satana. 666, six, six, gotta have that. So these have been here for a while. Hey, they knew how to spell it. Ah, uh, this is me falling over water. Once again, Redneck is gone. We never know. Like, Redneck, he's part of the troop, and then he's gone. All right, friends, so we explored the house in the middle of the woods. And, uh... Trish, I think you were spooked about nothing, but you never know. You never know. Some people, yes, it can be way more sensitive. I personally don't have anything to report, but, you know, it doesn't mean that everything is indicative of my reaction the, from the outside in. It'd be a great spot to film a haunted house movie of some kind. All right. I'm falling down the hill here. In Hamilton, that's frozen solid. Oh, oh no, it's not. No, it's not. It, it was for me, <laughs> so I'm gonna stay where I was. How wet did you get? Not wet. <laughs> you got in and out. All right, guys, it's better than Moonville was too. Man, we are here. You're enjoying our thorn-ridden trip here. In Helltown. All right, since since we walked by it, I am going to quickly get this little lodge in. You can't get in it, and it's uh, I'm a, it's full of water, deep water. So I'm not going in, I'm not going in. Full of water. Well. Is there another house? All right, so we seem to have lost a member of our troop. 
so go back to the spooky house. Where did he... I, there's a little stream here, I guess. If you're not mindful, a foot full of water. Hey, redneck! Hey, redneck! What? Oh, for crying out loud. All right, false alarm. Here in Helltown. We are out here in Helltown. Now, these open fields, as Trish, Trish pointed this out earlier, the open fields here all used to be houses. It was a small town. For those of you near We Are, she compared it to Hartville. That's a pretty good uh, estimation. I'm going to let them follow on the trail. I'm going to go off here on what used to be one of the roads for a moment and let you guys see actual Helltown as it was... Imagine this road on either side having houses and life and liveliness and people going about their days. At that time, horses. And imagine what these roads must have looked like back when automobiles were new. Guys, this is Helltown. We're for the resort. None of that is anywhere near here now. That is the barn that we filmed. The resort is way, way over there. I guess you can see it on that side. This out here, take a look around, friend. There's nothing out here. You are seeing the old roads, the old trails. You know, people have hiked them and walked them. I'm not saying no one's been here, but it is a very good look. And now uh, we're going to go back to the main trail where the, uh, of course, the, the, the city park system has created it. But these go on back here. You could walk along. And these used to be houses, so I mean, it's not going to go on indefinitely, but this was a neighborhood, and this was houses, and these were driveways, and horse stalls, and things that were reflective of the way people lived in that time period. I'm going to shut the camera off, because there's only so much of a trail I'm sure everybody wants to watch, but you are seeing it as we see it here in Helltown. All right, so, here. You could light oh, it under yourself, yeah. to, like They're under. All, like creepy and shit. Um, but this way you can see. Where we're at now is. I will. I will point up where you Cry, have the light. Yeah. Um, it's called Crybaby Bridge. Now it's not the one that I used to fish at. For those of you that have followed the show for some time, this is a different one. This is here at Boston. Now the one that I'm familiar with, they threw the baby off the bridge, and if you put your car in neutral, it won't start. This is not a driving bridge. So what is the story behind this particular crybaby bridge? Um, this particular bridge, um, a woman, she was extremely mentally unstable, and she had a child, and I do believe she just got overwhelmed. And she came here and grabbed her baby by the ankle and let go and water took the baby. Um, the myth and reason behind it is some people do hear a child crying as well as a woman weeping um, because she was mentally unstable. It is also known that she looks for children and kids to follow, kind of like that motherly figure, but she's crazy, so right, that's friends. the story behind this one. So what we're gonna do, it's frozen solid. You can, we have been walking on different tributaries, however, We'll spend a moment here in the quiet and see if we hear anything at all as we explore Helltown. Because it, uh, it's very frontal and very, um, like, immediate. It's, it's now, do we know that this happened? Have we looked it up um, or had, do we know for sure that the case happened? There is a case of a child being found, but they haven't put together all the pieces 
of it, but because everybody keeps finding pictures of this woman and they hear the, the crying, they're kind of making up their own story because nobody's going to really look into it. All right, Creeper, you're the great timekeeper. Give us a moment of silence, and all of you who may be watching this who use logic or audacity or Pro Tools or whatever as audio enhancers, have fun. The Legend of Crybaby Bridge, is it real? We don't know, but here is a minute of silence at the Spooky Bridge. I thought you were keeping time. <clears throat> He's not keeping time. All right, that was probably a minute, friends. <laughs> no, it was more like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's your minute, friends, at Crybaby Bridge. I, with two minutes, we're going to freeze to death. So we're going to move. Hope you've enjoyed it. We're moving onward here in Helltown. This happens to us everywhere we go. Phil, put that you light on You always have a dick in the woods. Somebody painted a dick and balls on the tree. Now this happened in Moonville. This happens every time we Stark make a there. horror documentary. It allegedly, it's in the Molly Stark video that we allegedly have. And uh, yeah, friends, penises galore here in Helltown. All right. All right, guys, Molly here's the, the plan. We've reached an area literally in the woods in the middle of nowhere. This is where Helltown actually ended. From here, it's just paths, and if we go on the other side of the mountain far enough, we'll simply end up at the other ski resort. Right. But here is, what's the plan, Trish? Looking we, at the phone here, okay. I, have it, I have it. What we're going to do is we're going to go back where we came. You, see, you can see these things here, past those, and we're going to come back up here, get back to the car, go completely back, and then we're going to drive down Stamford Road, because Stamford Road is Helltown. So, so where Stanford Road begins and where it ends, that is the hell town. All right, let me see your light real quick. So, so that was, I am going to show you light. guys where we have come to as we turn around and get ready for part two of two of our journey. We're going to get warm. So Here we go. This, it just goes, yeah, it literally, friends, as you can see, just goes into the woods. So we're going to call it good enough here. We're going to head back and we're going to see more of Helltown on the other side. This is it. It actually, for all intents and purposes, like there may have been a house or two going into wherever before the resorts back in the day. But as you can see to the left and right, this is the end of what was this area of Helltown. Down we go. Going down a mountain is always much better. So, as you can see, Creeper's having an easy time with it. Off we go, guys. We're going to shut the light off before we get blinded. Do you know why these words are written here in Helltown? Could it be a warning? No, I wrote it there. So, the new energy box is apparently... Look like the supercomputers. Able to do quantum physics. What the hell? Look at this. Footprints. The person fell over.
and then was pulled by someone else to the side of the road. Okay, that someone was me. You're here in Helltown. All right, no more jokes, no more jokes. We have finished filming everything that has to do with the first part of Helltown. We're now headed back to the car, <clears throat> as Trish had said. And from there, then, we are going to um, take ourselves to the other part of Helltown. I'm going to film that for you as well. This is part of the, uh, the road. The trail that we took is to my right. So I wanted to get a little bit of this on camera. I also think it's funny because if anybody else comes down that road, all they see is that there were a bunch of footprints. A body fell, and they were pulled to the side of the road. Yes, us being pranksters here in Helltown. So far, no ghosts to report. Trish has felt sensitive. I've heard people say that before. I'm not going to say she isn't. So far, we have no ghosts to report. On what is becoming a snowy night here in Helltown. All right, guys, we are literally in a field that is uh, a few yards away from a spooky-ass road that really only looks spooky because of the snow, to be honest. But it's maintained by the park system. We have ventured off into an area. It's circular here. It's, it's on like a little path that probably at one time was a road. Uh, and there were probably homes or uh, there any spirits here? buildings of some kind. Creeper has the ghost detecting software running. He's looking for any words that may be said. Yeah. Ran. Who's here? Ran? Well, yeah, Ran. At least he didn't so, say to run. Who is here? Again, it's hard to say how accurate those devices are. But they are interesting, to say the least. We're going to venture... Who are we talking to? Axe blood. Axe and blood? Yep. There you go, friend. Again, it's hard to say. Are these things programmed to do that? To make you... Alright, so them? we've recently discovered... Actually, it was Trish that noticed this. We have the butcher and the axe. In the video, Trish, I say that it seems like the, the program is being programmed, uh, the, the app is being programmed to just say ridiculous uh, things to bait you in, an axe or a blood. Show us what you found. Okay, so you told me that you kind of went to the end of the road where you really couldn't go any further. And um, you were saying these things it, while you were walking, kind of like in the middle of the woods, but it was almost like a little alleyway like where a road used to be you had said well it just so happens i'm going to scoot a little closer that on the map where i think you went is down here you took this road all the way to the end and the area i think you were in is right here because it kind of looks like there used to be a road there and it just so happens if we go right here and zoom in a little bit this right here is the butcher's barn so hearing the words um, axe and blood is actually pretty correlated because what do you really do at a butcher's place? You know, sometimes you have to take the heads off of animals or chickens or, you know. Particularly in that time period, they were not shipped the way they are now. Right. So, I mean, it could have been because there's actually a, a smaller barn where he had his, like, his pigs and his chickens and stuff. And then the bigger barn is the actual butcher's barn. So, um, keep an eye on it, friends. That we may have found a lot more than you hear us talk about in the video. Yeah. But it's a bit much to believe. It sounds like we're being baited in to be spooked, but we'll see. Uh, we're gonna, this should take us out to the road. Who is here? Go on. Yeah, this will give you a look at the road. Now, I can't, I can't capture for everyone how creepy it looks without the light, unfortunately. A lot of it's the snow, but that road Who goes on, and we've already traveled all this way down it, so it's not like What's we haven't ventured up the road. The big circular flying saucer pattern is certainly Good. funny to look at.
understood. But on the app it said simulator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does. We, it, you take it with a grain of salt, of course. But uh, So who is here with us? Somebody that stood with us when we should have ran or back there with an axe. It's hard to say. But I, again, we, we're a bit skeptical with them promising uh, axes. So, friends, uh, you're looking at it as we do. It's the end of Who what's going here? to be the what is your name? Moonville Tunnel. Trish Jack. Redneck Jack. I asked him what his name was. It's Jack. There you go, friends. Jack. What's your last name? Austin. Austin. Huh? Jack Austin. Jack Austin. All right, guys. So, uh, a guy with Jack said something supposedly according to the simulator. I think this might be the uh, about the conclusion of the broadcast, friends. These are our footprints. May have been the conclusion of tonight's broadcast. What He's happened got... to you, Jack? So far, I've managed to drop my phone and break the screen on the beautiful Galaxy A21 that I just got six weeks ago. And I think that's the what end of our... You, Jack? ghost hunting adventure thank you for watching uh, let me say again if you like it if you say hey i like watching these guys bumbling around in the dark and falling up a hill if you thought this i think the cemetery section what do you think creeper was it rather enjoyable oh, yeah. when uh, we got to we got in the cemetery at night what? the active jack hours black. are said to start at 2 30 and end near jack sunrise black. jack black jack black anyway God, that's, that's, that's great with an axe. So what we're going to do, friends, is conclude this. But uh, if you liked it, 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 the active hours, as I was saying, the active hours up there, supposed to be from 1230. I don't know. You guys look at the footage. Enhance it. The audio, the video. I mean, I know how to do that, but I post it so that you guys can. If I find something in my own video, people will be like, oh, it's, it's corrupted. So that would be irrelevant. So look it up, friends. How did you die, Jack? Look it up. Yeah. Post the video, share the video, and above all, thank you for taking a trip with us to Helltown. Good night, guys. God bless.